In this video, we'll be doing a problem involving linear and angular speed. Our problem is, suppose that P is on a circle with a radius of 15 inches, and ray OP is rotating with an angular speed of pi twelfths radians per second. Find the angle generated by P in 10 seconds. Well, this angular speed given right here, pi over 12 radians per one second, all we need to do is take that speed and multiply by 10 to find out the angle that's generated in 10 seconds. So let's do that. Multiply that by 10. And we get 5 pi over 6 radians in 10 seconds. Now our next question is, find the distance traveled by P along the circle in 10 seconds. So we know that the distance along an arc of a circle is given by S. And our formula is S is equal to R theta, where R is the radius of the circle, and theta is the central angle given in radians. So for our problem, the radius was 15 inches. And the angle generated in 10 seconds was 5 pi over 6. So this gives us S is equal to 25 pi over 2 inches. And then our last question is to find the linear speed of P in inches per second. Now we have a number of formulas that we could use. If we use the formula V equals S over T, we have the speed or the velocity is equal to 25 pi over 2 divided by the time, which was 10 seconds. And this simplifies to 5 pi over 4 inches per second. I want to use the other formulas and then also unit multipliers to show you that we could do this with any of those. All right. Another formula that we have is V equals R theta over T. So if we use that formula, we get V is equal to, remember our radius was 15 inches, and our theta was 5 pi over 6. And our time is 10. So this also gives me 5 pi over 4 inches per second. And then if we use um, our third formula, which is velocity equals r omega, we get velocity is equal to, and our radius is 15, and omega was the angular velocity, which we saw was pi over 12. So we can simplify this down to 5 pi over 4. Let me also show you unit multipliers. If we chose to use unit multipliers with our angular speed, so let me make a note that this is unit multipliers. We start with our angular speed of pi over 12. And remember when you use unit multipliers, you need to put the units on there. So it's pi radians 
per 12 seconds. Now we know that we want to go to inches per second, so I've already got my seconds in the denominator. But I can use uh, the unit multiplier 1 radius, or 1 radian, is equal to 15 inches, because our radius was 15 inches. Now these radians cancel off, and I have 15 pi over 12, and that's inches per second, which reduces to 5 pi over 4.